637 here on Morning Barbados. We are live from our studios in the Pine as well as at the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Center. It's the BMX 2011 edition of Morning Barbados. But of course, there are other things going on in the world. And just to give you a sneak preview, we told you that we'll be talking a little bit about what's happening in the world of fashion. The fashion show at BMX is always a big crowd puller. But one of the things that I noticed uh, coming up in the news, as you would know, I host a blog on the HIV AIDS work that the Caribbean Broadcast Media Partnership on HIV AIDS is doing. And we've scored a major milestone. The UN and the US government have launched an initiative to eliminate HIV among babies by 2015. The world and the United Nations is taking notice. Uh, that's just some one of the other things happening in international headlines. But for right now, we're going to take a very short break. And when we come back, we're going to go straight over to see what's happening with Colin and Pearson. I wonder if Pearson's got a note of his bedroom, his bedroom yet. Well, actually, there will be no break. Uh, we're going to be coming straight from uh, the Eskin Sandiford Center. Pearson is is actually packing that credenza that both of you have your eyes on so sorry i guess it's first come first serve but we're going to be talking about someone who is also into uh, manufacturing things with the with the hands you know creating things from scratch all the way up bradley graves he's with our uh, designer wrought ironworks good morning bradley how are you doing i'm good sir all right so let's talk about the it's, it's called graves works right tell us about your company um relatively young company it's about five or six years now but I've been doing better work from about the time I was 16. Uh, I'm a second generation welder, so my father and so on, my uncles, they come into the business. So I'm picking up, but I'm trying to step off a reasonable way from where they left off. So I train all sorts of new things, new combinations with metals, plastics, metals, and woods. A whole a plethora, really, of just going out there trying to do something new. It's fascinating that you said you're, you, it's in the family, but were they also making uh, stuff or they were just welding commercially or just doing welding? Were they also into manufacturing stuff? Uh, very much so. They were pretty much on the early set to begin in matter work, especially decorative. So I'm taking from where they left off and putting in another realm, really. Well, you just give us an insight into how wide you want to take this. So tell me, if I need something and I have, a, I have an idea in my head, I can come to you and sit down and talk with you and you can build me whatever I'm, I'm dreaming of? Um, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, I prefer the one-on-one -on -one time with my client so that they can talk with me. I like to make my work to suit them, to suit what their needs are, to suit especially their temperament. So according to how you are as a person, I try to cater. So some people are a little more linear, some people a little more elaborate. So I cater to suit, and that is really what I'm seeking to do. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how difficult it is because, you know, we're dealing with metal here. So how difficult it is? I mean, I might come up with something really whimsical. Do you have, have, ever have to say to a client, okay, maybe that may not work? Um, to, I, I try hard not to say no. Uh, according to circumstance, I would try anything once, really. Um, but it's really the interesting ones. The ones that are more challenging. One, they, they impress on my mind, and that's where I get my energy from. But really, those are the ones that really are outstanding. Everyone can do something very simple, but I try to step out of the box somewhat. So it's that sort of client I'm really looking for. All right, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the work that you've done. I think we have some pictures which we may be able to show on screen. But before we get there, where are you located? How can people find you? That sort of thing. Um, we operate on the West Coast in St. James, it's Prospect. Uh, my telephone number is 249-1626. Uh, you can also get me at gravesworks at gmail. For any emails, any comments, feel free. All right, yes, I understand that the footage is running of some of your work. What is, what is one of the most difficult pieces that you've had to create? Um, at one point, we were asked to make a table for a hotel. It was one of a kind. They could even take pictures of it. They wanted to keep that unique feel. So that, that took some doing. They had, that was a while back, but that, that was a lot of different things went into it. The element, which is like um, patterning after plants, the leaf work. It was very grueling. It had metal work. We had to torch work, which is going back to blacksmith work. It really took some doing. It took at least a week and a half with three guys doing it. Well, when you said that, I thought you were going to say it took like months. But uh, I guess that is one of the things about Gray's work, isn't it? Is that you can have one-of-a-kind pieces. If once you can dream it up and you can come to you and you can get that done. That's exactly it. That is it, exactly. And uh, how far do you want to go? You, you mentioned the fact that you've begun exploring other mediums, you know, bringing in plastics and that sort of thing. How does one combine the two, like metal and plastic? Well, it's a matter of what your mind can open up to. So it's a matter of what you want. The different finishes you can do from uh antique finish you can do contemporary is a matter of mixing and matching it sounds very basic like that but that's what it is you take an idea and you try it this way you could toy with it this way everybody's different and i try to cater for what people want all right we're looking at some of your pieces on the screen there where are you located in bmax 
Uh, this is G67 in the construction aisle. Right. All right, so what is your father saying about your work that you see? Is he saying, man, I could have done that? Uh, very early up, he said the lot of work that he would be doing, he wasn't even going to take on. I've really gone past what he used to do. That's quite honest truth. All right, so check them out. It's Bradley Graves. He's right here in G, G G67 here at BMX. And Pearson has found another guest, so let's go over the Pearson. Thank you, Colin. 67 is not a bad number. It's a great year, as a matter of fact, for those of you who are into vintage wines. Look at me. I'm still going strong. Well, I have with me John Hunt, who is the coordinator of the Fashion Pavilion here at the BMX. And you know, when it comes to BMX, fashion is really the rave every evening. Good morning, John. Good morning, Pearson. Now, we are counting down. We're almost to it now. Is everything ready? Everything will be ready. Um, you know, there's always a the last minute model changes, um, fittings that have to take place. But we, we're gearing to go on tomorrow. From tomorrow you start? Yeah, from tomorrow, Saturday. We start off with the On the Boardwalk um, fashion show, which features the designers are, who actually have booths in the, um, in the pavilion. So we have um, Dollhouse Creations and Angelique Custom Creations showcasing their jewelry. We have Dave Cumberbatch, who's bringing a plus size um, design for plus size women. Mm -hmm. Very plus, very ample, very voluptuous, very beautiful women. <laughs> you, you sold us, John. Go yes. ahead. And then we have um, Karen Brathit, yes. Cosmic Vibes with her particular line of color fabric and um, silhouettes. And we start off with um, Four Seasons Colonnade, who is not only bringing designs, but she's also bringing costumes. So talk me a little bit about the preparation till now, though, because you've got a whole cadre of models together, designers together. What's been the buzz so far? Well, the buzz is everything is new and fresh. Um, our innovation has been to um, provide an opportunity for new designers and emerging designers to showcase and also to provide opportunity for people who want to aspire to be models. So a lot of school children have come out um, as young as 14 to 19 and we have been training them over the process of years and we think that they're model ready. So you'll get to see new faces. Yes. Where is the Fashion Pavilion, John? The Fashion Pavilion is in the flamboyant room. So as you enter the space, you turn right and go down the stairs and there we have your panoramic boardwalk for you to now, see. I know you said to us earlier on Morning Broadway that there's going to be something different about the catwalk this year. Right. So instead of having a normal catwalk going down the center, we have it on the side like a boardwalk. So you just see models walking to and fro as if you're like walking on the street. So it's going to be like tennis. So <laughs> practice your neck exercises because you're going to be looking this way and that way for like the whole day. And, and as we watch the, the rehearsal uh, that has been going on over the past few days in preparation for tomorrow's first fashion show, mm -hmm. will there be a fashion show every night? A fashion show every night. Saturday at 8, Sunday at 8, which showcases the BCC graduates. And on Sunday we have two shows, a 6 o'clock show, which features children's um, fashion as well as, as fashion for ladies. And then the finale, which we call It's a Man's World which features men's fashion and you know what men like to watch is women's in swimwear so it's going to be very exciting men's wear women's wear yeah. very exciting very and that's how it all wraps up on monday oh, on monday on monday but every night there's something every for everybody there's something for everybody right would there be opportunity as well this weekend john for if i saw on the catwalk something that i think i look great in and i'd want to wear would i be able to purchase it right away the designers will be there on hand to interact with the with the public after every show mm -hmm. and so you can get in contact with them and possibly even buy some of their stuff i know that some of the stuff is ready to wear and so you can buy it right off the model what do you see as the potential for fashion in barbados though i think that we we have a lot of creativity and a, and a lot of a lot of drive and i think that we just need to find the right parameters to match that with you know manufacturing and marketing and all those kind of things and i think that we really need to think about it seriously because i think that's a real opportunity for us to really brand ourselves not only in music but also in fashion well made that a reality for me because if it were john today who had the power with a pen or even the might of his arm to be able to make that transition from just an idea and a desire into something real what would you start with right away john i would want to develop um a manufacturing plant because when i listen to the designers talk the, the challenge is not with the designs our designs are top-notch high quality you know if you look at what antonio Cumberbatch brings but we we need to bring out the manufacturing to match that and I think that we need, that's the opportunity for us to really develop the skills that we have here to that level that we can begin to create for ourselves right. and then create for export. So to move from simply doing the little thing at the machine in your house right. to actually now having a natural building, a building where you churn stuff out. Yes, on a regular basis. All right, so walk us through the designers that we'll see this weekend again. So on the 
on the Saturday, we're going to see the booth holders. On the Sunday, we're going to see designers such as Jillian Sprott, Alexis Campbell, Roscoe McDonald is coming back with his menswear. And then we're going to showcase the new the newbies at BCC. So we have Ramona McDonald doing her sheep captivity. We have Janelle Green, who is playing with the word nautical bliss. Nice. She's actually showing lingerie. Nautical, but not nautical as in sea, but I, I got nautical. You. And then we have... Um, Annette Harris with her fierce and fabulous line, which she's, um, she's highlighting the rally, but she's showcasing them on women. So we're seeing women in racer, in racer gear. And on, then on Sunday, we have the children designers like Suzanne Reeves and Kathy Ann Innes, who's joined by Pink Lemonade in Ladies Casual. And um, later in the evening, then we have Graphical and Raj Paul doing t-shirts. Raj is back. Yeah, Raj is back. Nice. And, um, Cassandra Motley with her right. chic and sexy somewhere. And then we top it off with Kingsley Thorne, who is not, not to normal. be outdone. Not to be outdone. <laughs> All right. So. John, it sounds fantastic. Of course, one price gets you into everything here at the Lord Erskine Sandiford Centre for the Fashion Pavilion and all of the exhibitions as well. I wish you well. I'm going to be there every day, every so look day. out for me. Yes, I'm looking out for everybody every right. day. Thanks, John.